introduce your story. Brian is going to be reading my story, The Christmas Tale. I have a bad feeling about this. You should. It's called Christmas Tale. Like Black Tale? So well, I guess we'll find out. Okay. Breathe six. Some breathing lessons, Brandon, first yeah. so you don't die halfway through. <laughs> this is a tale of a little boy named Robbie and his best friend, Brandon. Clearly, a work of, clearly it's a work of fiction. No, you are my best friend. You are his best friend. His only friend. Paul left me, deal, And in a signed contract deed that states you are my best friend forever. Yeah, I've never signed this contract. Remember, Anyhow, Robbie's Paul favorite, signed it for remember, you. Remember, Robbie's favorite show is Friendship is Magical, so you're like magical to him, Brandon. Oh, <coughs> wonderful. Brandon the Magical. Okay, Captain anyhow. Funny. Let him read, Robbie. Yeah, let him be cloptacular. Yeah, I... Gotta clop it. It was the night before Christmas Eve, and they would hang out in Robbie's tree house in the back of his <coughs> house. I don't think Robbie has a tree, let alone a tree house. I used to have a tree house, but it was one of those you built yourself. That's, Brand Brandon. Had to put That's why they said on. used to, because Robbie had to build it himself. <laughs> As Brandon climbed to the t- As Brandon climbed to the top to meet his friend, he snapped the ladder in half because he was really overweight. <laughs> Luckily, he made it to the top, and now the boys were stuck up in the tree house. Both cried for help, with but with the winter chilly air blowing their pleas blowing their pleas were not heard. Roy's mother had left for an after office get together with all oh, with all the men in, at the office, and his sister has gone off with her boyfriend. Both boys. Is that true, were, Robbie? Your mom, your sister, your mom. No comment. <laughs> Both boys were getting very worried, and it was getting dark. They played any board games they had up there, but they didn't take their minds off the situation they got themselves in. Brandon got up and turned the Christmas light. Why don't I just push Brandon off and then use him as a, tra- as a, as a to break my fall? Is this in a fictional world where you're not a horrible person, maybe? And that, in fact, Robbie Bumble's bounce. He won't come <laughs> for a while. Right. Brandon got up and turned the Christmas light they set up from a week before to give them light in the house. Oh, God. <coughs> Both Robbie and Brandon were shaking and quivering in their seats. They played any games they had left and sang some Christmas songs to keep themselves awake. Hours have passed, and Brandon was becoming hungry. That's a whole lot of men. If you spend hours have passed, Robbie. Yep. Robbie pulled out some snacks they had in the treehouse to eat. From where? Magic. Your pockets, Robbie. Okay. You're Brandon here. Wanted... <laughs> but Brandon yes. wanted more. Robbie shared part of his snack, but he had none left to feed the big, his big fellow. He became very angry at him. He said that he was hu- very hungry and very cold. And the man had Robbie give him his jacket so he gives a blanket. That would cover a whole, like, fifth of me, maybe. <laughs> being, frail, <laughs> being frail and small, he listened to his bigger and voluptuous <laughs> uh, Oh, dear friend. God. An hour passed and Robbie had to cry. It was clearly a work of fiction if he lasted a whole hour. I thought you were going to say the voluptuous part. <laughs> yeah. I think someone can find a thesaurus that day. <laughs> Brandon noticed the tears started rolling off Robbie's cheeks. The cold air was really doing a number on his skinny little body. Robbie's eyes were shut tight from the cold and his tears. I got up and went over to Robbie's side and hugged him. It was a first <laughs> yeah, like that's ever going to happen. Clearly a uh, work of fiction here. Yeah, the first time Brandon doesn't sh- hug. Robbie. Oh, dear God. I'm not afraid to push. Oh, dear God. <laughs> what did God do? Uh, <laughs> what did God do? <laughs> It was the first time in hours that Robbie's <coughs> body felt warmness. Brandon whispered in his ear now that he knows what Christmas is all about. Oh, God. This is about being greedy and mean to your fellow friends and family that like you used to do, but about sharing and cherishing the relationships you have with them. Robbie turned around and looked at, looked at Brandon, wiping the ice from his eyes. He hugged him. Robbie told him, you were my best friend. I hope you'll never hide again. Brandon nodded and agreed to. I don't Okay, there's not much longer, so... Oh, dear God. Well, that, that got, went downhill incredibly fast. This is the director's cut. <laughs> Go on. They began to tear at each other's clothes, like... Oh, I can't hear you. Wild, nasty... Hey. <laughs> Robbie's gonna read... This. They began to tear at each other's Robbie, clothes. Robbie, out uh, of, like, wild ecstasy. Robbie, give me that. Man, God, you can't, can't read. read. Robbie. Literally. Robbie, where did you learn to drama... Uh, Where did you find the see the word ecstasy? I added it. Oh God! 
Are you gonna read start it? start from the top. They can't speak slowly and loud. <coughs> they began to tear each other's clothes off like wild, nasty beasts who were fueled by a sex drive. Robbie began taking his clothes off as fast as possible, and Robbie did the same. <laughs> Robbie did the same, or Brandon did the same. Because Robbie can't be at two places oh, at the same God. time. Oh, dear God. What? What happened now? Go on. I think we're having just uncomfortable difficulties here. Yeah, let's I'll read, see. I'll read, I'll read it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what, what, what was it? Was it that good? <coughs> Define yeah. good. Let's, start, okay. Start from the top. They uh, began to hear, they began to tear each other's clothes off like wild nasty beasts who are fueled by a sex drive. Oh, God. Brandon began taking his clothes off as fast as possible, and Robbie did the same. Both hungry for each other's warmth and lust. <coughs> They weren't going to be cold anytime soon after what they were going to do. Robbie grabbed the mistletoe nearby and bent over his legs, spread wide open. He held his mistletoe over his butthole and asked Brandon, "What was he? What was he waiting for, big boy?" Brandon, with his tongue out, ah! ran over and penetrated this asshole for hours upon hours. This is definitely the best Christmas wish any of the two could ever have. Merry Christmas. So, so Brandon. How does it feel to use Robbie like a ring pop? Weren't these supposed well, to be G-rated? This is in the theory. cut. In theory. Ah. You didn't write one, so you get no no, no say whatsoever. Okay. Oh, okay. See, the first page was a uh, theatrical cut. The, oh, and then this is the is director's The director's cut, cut unrated Except, version. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think of that? Uh, it was a... At least you're the one on top. <laughs> well, that's not, even in Robbie's fantasies. <laughs> Are you shocked? Odd. Well, Raped in the mind and eyes, visualizing all this? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to I keep... At first, I don't think Tony went far enough. You didn't write one! How do you know what writing is? <laughs> I've read things. You can hardly read things, Robbie. <laughs> you add Robbie, words. Yeah. before you can say something, make sure you put something out that they can judge. Okay. You have nothing to judge. You have nothing to say. Got it. You know why? Why? Because you're stupid. Oh! That's not all. What do you think, Brandon? Uh, yes, uh, Robbie is stupid? <laughs> well, I mean, that, that's, that's a given. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, it's like asking if the sky is blue or, you know, grass green. <laughs> Can you imagine what Tony's going to do with magic, Robbie, and Brandon in a treehouse? Well, it's the magic treehouse. You know, we go find Genghis Khan or something. You guys are going to go find, go, go to Gryffindor? Ugh. <laughs> yeah, most likely it'll probably be something traumatic and horrifying and yeah. No worries, it's gonna be about magic blood gathering. No butt gathering. I was expecting that part to be added there. Uh, yes. At least this way you might have Casey on the bottom because he'll be asleep. <laughs> he's on a yes. Because it is magic the uh, gathering. Uh, <laughs> so he's at the bottom of the sack. Yeah. Remember, it's first to last. What was your favorite part of the story, Brandon? You can't lie either. There's a favorite part. We'd ask Robbie, but he'd be obnoxious and kind of lie. Yeah. So I think his favorite part is when he said, they said his mom was out with all the sailors in the uh, at dock. <laughs> no. I'll give it actually. Yeah, maybe you know, that those that part that part because it seems to have the ring of most realism and truth. And lift him out freezing. That part especially. <laughs> As yeah. freezing too. Oh yeah, no, that's the detail details. Besides, um, I had your code and whatnot, so that helped. So what was your inspiration for this, Tony? Brandon and Robbie's love for each other. Well, I think that explains the most of it all. And besides, you know, it was we were supposed to write a Christmas story, so, you know, what better than to write a Christmas tale about friendship and family and the real meaning of the holidays. And then licking your friend down like a ring pop. <laughs> Oh. Especially since Ryo wow. was putting the mistletoe over his butthole. <laughs> wow. Where do you get mistletoe? They had Christmas. In the house. same place I got the snacks. Yeah. You keep mistletoe with your snacks? Mistletoe's poisonous. You're trying to kill us? You tried to kill him. He's Robbie. He ro um, Robbie tries to kill himself all the time. Breathing does not count. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, any last words about your story, Tony? We let Robbie speak, but he didn't write one. Well, I can't. 
I don't. I haven't heard anyone else's story. I gotta say though, I'm putting my vote in for this one. Brandon. Yes. Well, you heard yours, and you heard his. Um, I for once I'm gonna vote for my own, just on sheer principle of the matter. We'll let you have a vote, Robbie, even though you didn't turn one in. And I don't think he's heard mine either yet, anyhow. Well, we'll let you hear them all right now. Hmm.